Welcome to Tech Support Tuesday, where every Tuesday I release videos with tips and tricks for free technical support. Also, I go ahead and respond to every comment on my videos. So if you have any questions or issues, then go ahead and drop a comment below. Today I'm going to show you how to install Hyper-V on the Windows 11 Developer Preview. First, we're going to go ahead and click the Start button and then type in Control to bring up the Control Panel. Then click on Programs. From here, go to Turn Windows Features On or Off and check the box for Hyper-V. Now if we expand this out, you want to make sure that both of these are checked below. If for whatever reason this is unchecked, then most likely in your BIOS you will need to enable hardware virtualization so that you can continue to install Hyper-V. If that's the case, reboot your computer and go into the BIOS and look for hardware virtualization support and make sure that it is enabled. If you are unable to find it, then consult your owner's manual or the support for your particular device. Now we just click on OK. Then we go ahead and restart the computer. Now, since the system has rebooted, we can go ahead and open up Hyper-V. And to be able to do that, we go ahead and click on Start. Then go to All Apps and scroll all the way down. And look for Windows Tools. And then from here, you have Hyper-V Manager. Now there's also a feature called Hyper-V Quick Create, and I'll go into that in a future video. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and open up Hyper-V Manager. Now here is our host. Currently it has no virtual machines on it. Now from here, you can go ahead and right click on your host and go to New Virtual Machine. If you wanna go ahead and create a new virtual machine, if you already have a ISO image downloaded of an operating system in which you want to install.